it was a great experience to have Dr. Popovich walk in my shoes. I felt like he really was interested in what I do and the contribution that the registered dietitian brings to the healthcare team and, and the ways that we improve the quality of care for our patients. I would highly recommend this experience to any of our team members here at the hospital. Thank you again, Dr. Popovich, for taking the time with me. As I said before, it was time that I felt was really valuable, and I really appreciate the attention that you are giving and your commitment to bringing excellent service of the highest caliber to the patients here at Henry Ford. Tell me how long you've been at uh, Henry Ford. I've been at Henry Ford since November of 2006. Came right out of my internship at Central Michigan and was hired here, and uh, so coming up on gosh, I guess the six-year mark or so, five years, six years, you lose track after a while. Um, so my, my entire career in dietetics has been here. Tell me uh, a little bit about uh, your average day. What, uh, what do you do in the day? My average day starts out with uh, doing computer work, uh, looking up the labs, the history, what has happened in the past 24 hours for the patients uh, that I'm that I'm in responsible for caring for from the nutrition side of things. And that's something that I, I mentioned, um, the IT part of it has really changed how we do things. And it's, uh, it's more and more time looking up labs, looking up information. And I don't know that saves me time, but it allows me to gather a lot more information perhaps in that same time. So that's been an interesting evolution that I've seen even in the, in the few years that I've been here. The main portion of my time with rounding is spent with the cardiothoracic surgery teams. And those tend to be my patients that have the most acute nutrition needs, at least in the ICU. And so um, I really rely on the input that I get from the uh, physician's assistants, from the nurse practitioners, from the surgeons. And I've, in my, I think I've been here a year or so, uh, here on P5 uh, specifically, and I was on P4 before P5 opened, um, ha have built a good rapport with them. I like to think they trust my judgment on most days. Mm -hmm. I trust theirs, and it's just a great give and take. I learn so much from them. I learn so much from attending rounds. And that's another part of your question about what makes a good day. It's when I learn something, when something comes together in my gray matter and the pieces click together. It's amazing how much science there is in, mm -hmm. in food preparation mm -hmm. and in cooking. Um, it, much more than uh, I think many people realize. There's a huge amount of chemistry that's uh, related yeah. uh, to that, and it's uh, you get an appreciation, I think, uh, of the scientific background of, mm -hmm. uh, of cooking, let alone the science of nutrition and the importance right. of uh, of nutrition. Right, and the dietitian has a unique role in that. Uh, he or she brings that science of nutrition and translates it into food and into language that patients, uh, that, that all clients that we serve, all the communities that we serve can actually <laughs> tap into and use to their benefit. Sometimes I, I have the opportunity to represent a patient who maybe has special needs or who is struggling with something or perhaps we need some interpretation of what we really want clinically from the nutrition side of things and how to translate that into how we're going to provide that from the kitchen. And so the diet clerks, I love them. They're easy to work with. They're pleasant and they bring a bright spot to my day. It's a pleasure to work with them. Everyone learns here. Mm -hmm. uh, regardless of what our position is, we're all learning <clears throat> how to do things better. Now you have formal learning though with the dietary interns. We write their, their modules, their learning modules. They spend uh, four weeks total in the intensive care of dietetic interns do. Uh, we really try to prepare them so that they can get out there once they leave us or once we hire them, either right, way, right. Um, that they are at least ready to run on, on the, uh, the entry level position. And they are, we, they, they just are. They, this environment is so immersed in learning and it's so open to learning and teaching. And so that's, again, just something I'm really proud to be a part of. Now, I do hear that uh, you kind of weave in service excellence, which is a big, big part of what we're trying to do here at, uh, at Henry Ford. Yeah. Uh, how do you do that? I try to, first off, approach every patient that I see with as positive, smile on my face, pleasant person coming into your room. And I feel kind of fortunate because I'm generally not the bearer of any bad news. Right. So I can come in and try to, to perk the day up a little bit. Um, sometimes it 
well, oftentimes it inv- it's it's obviously revolving around their food and their meals and what can I do to improve it, or just give them a pep talk, give them some information to take home to read if they if that's appropriate. But sometimes, Dr. Popovich, it's just visiting. It's just smiling, being pleasant, trying to be sort of a, a ray of sunshine. It's kind of a trite, I guess, um, phrase, but just trying to bring a little bit of, of brightness to the room, to the day, just to be nice to people. Right. And that's part of that, that initial call, going back to your question, why dietetics? It's a career of service. And it, it just fits with my, my hardwiring. So for another edition of Walk in My Shoes uh, for the Doc of the D uh, video, uh, we had an opportunity to meet with Rebecca Trapasso from uh, the dietary department. This is a pretty complex enterprise if you uh, think about it from uh, not only the supply of food uh, to the uh, institution, but the preparation uh, of the food and being able to get it uh, to the right place on time, uh, getting it uh, warm, having it palatable, uh, really meeting the expectations of each of the uh, each of the patients. Uh, this is uh, fairly uh, complex, and it gets even more complex as you start uh, getting into uh, the role that uh, Rebecca plays, and that she's the clinical liaison uh, between uh, physicians uh, and the patients. What I was struck with is uh, is the science base of this uh, specialty. Um, she, uh, in fact, says she went into. Uh, uh, dietetics predominantly because of her uh, science background and her interest in uh, serving, uh, serving others. What Rebecca shows is the fact that all of our employees have choices about where they can work. She lives in Howell, Michigan. Howell, Michigan is not around the corner from West Grand Boulevard in the Lodge. She has to get up very early in order to come in uh, down the expressways to come into this institution. She passes by two, three, four, five different hospitals, including hospitals within her own system, in order to come here. And she comes here because of what we do. And the uniqueness of the, uh, of the care that we provide, the diversity of the patient population, the diversity of the workforce that we have here, and the fact that we are the flagship institution are the reasons that she comes and works here. So I'm very proud of her. I'm very proud of all the uh, uh, dietary staff uh, uh, from the line uh, uh, creating uh, the breakfast and lunch trays uh, to those dietitians that so uh, expertly uh, manage along with the other clinicians uh, up on the floor the care to, re to return our patients to their health and their wellness. Thank you.